Hey guys, my name is Ismaus and today we have some exciting and very very surprising news. So Facebook joins the Blender Development Fund. If you don't know what uh, that is, you should be knowing that if you are a Blender user because uh, it's what funds Blender. Facebook is joining at the top tier level which is the patron level where you have other corporations like Unity, AMD, Nvidia and uh, Epic Games. So you might be very surprised by this because why would Facebook be interested in Blender? Well, the thing is that Facebook owns a lot of other brands that use a lot of uh, 3D content, including the Oculus VR and uh, and Facebook itself with uh, its Facebook uh, stories and Instagram through their Spark AR tools. So if you don't know what Spark AR is, when you have an Instagram story and you have any 3D stuff in that, that 3D stuff has to be first created in a 3D application. It's not created through Facebook or Instagram. It has to be created. Take a look at this. Let's see if we can if we'll come back with that. All these 3D effects uh, that you see there are made first by a 3D application and then they're ported to uh, Facebook or Instagram or any other, even Snapchat. I think uh, they use Spark AR or something equivalent to that. They have to be first made uh, through a 3D application. And uh, because a lot of people who use Spark AR are using Blender, yeah. Facebook has decided to join the development fund. And if you read this article, uh, that's on uh, blender.org, I can see their reasoning behind this. So Facebook has been building tools that help artists turn their Blender creation into engaging AR experience in Spark. To support these artists and the countless other animators, researchers, engineers, designers, and content creators who depend on open source tools, Facebook wishes to contribute to the development of Blender, which is why we are proud to announce that Facebook will join the Blender Foundation's development fund as a corporate uh, patron as of Q4 2020. So Q4 is basically saying the fourth quarter of 2020. And if you go to the Spark AR Studio website, which is a brand of Facebook, you can see Facebook's reason to support Blender. So here's a quick uh, snippet of what they wrote. Creators typically have multiple tools they lean on and love, and AR creators are no different. In fact, if you ask most Spark AR creators what's on their shortlist of trusted tools, one product nearly always show up. Blender. The free open source 3D software has was downloaded over 10 million times last year and is used on for a range of AR creation needs, from modeling and rendering objects and to adding animations and visual effects. That's why we are thrilled to share two new integrations available today that help improve creator workflow between Spark AR Studio version 9.2 and Blender 2.3 plus 2.83 plus. Uh, so you can see that they are not only joining the Blender development fund but they're also adding an integration, an add-on that helps the integration of Blender and uh, Spark AR so that you can easily export uh, the different creations you make in Blender to AR that in, in turn you can use on their other uh, platforms uh, like uh, Instagram, Instagram stories and Facebook stories. And uh, if you look at uh, their website, you can see uh, how this uh, integration uh, pans out. So you can see, especially you can ha look at, have a look at this. Uh, those hands there are first have to be first created using a 3D tool, and uh, for a lot of artists uh, that don't have the budget to uh, to own 3ds Max or any other large uh, expensive application, the alternative is always Blender. So uh, that's why you see that uh, Blender is getting a lot of love from different. Uh, cooperation. Two or three months ago, Microsoft also joined the Blender Development Fund. Uh, let me see. Yeah, so it joined as a corporate gold uh, member uh, because of their, I think it's uh, the Microsoft HTC Vive. Yeah, I think it's HTC Vive. So you can expect more corporations that are into uh, AR and VR stuff to join the Blender Development Fund. And uh, any application that takes advantage of uh, applications like Spark AR. I also expect in the future to have uh, something like Snapchat join the Blender Development Fund because they have a lot of uh, effects, 3D effects like this. How 3D effects like this, you have to be using a 3D application uh, to create the effects and then put them into your uh, stories, into your stories. So this is great news. Uh, and I understand a lot of people are not very, very keen on uh, Facebook, how Facebook handles themselves, but uh, uh, this is a great uh, step uh, for any 3D content creators, especially those uh, Blender content creators. So yeah, this is a, a win for a lot of us. So we'll be keeping an eye on this uh, to see how things pan out. But uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.